Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together these glitter pen boxes which were made to hold glitter pens made with the Papermate Inkjoy. So this is the single pen version. We also have a double pen version if you want to customize two pens to box up to gift. And then we have an insert to hold the pens in both the single and double version. And then um, I have an additional video that will show you how to customize the boxes using Print and Cut with Cricut and Silhouette as shown here. So let's get started. So here's the single pen box and here's one version of the, um, the double version. So this is the one with the long window. So I'm doing the long window. So these, so here's the other two versions in the file for the small pen. And then here's the other two versions for the um, double. So I'm going to show you how to put together. They're all the same. They just have different openings. Um, one thing they both have are uh, inserts that hold the pen in place. So I'm going to move that. That's what these are. And right here. So we'll do the single one first. Let me move that to the side. So here's the double. So let's do the, the insert first. That takes probably the most time. So there's score lines already that will be cut out of it. So we'll just go ahead and fold it. We're going to want to fold it kind of like that. So it's fairly simple. It just takes a couple minutes. So it's going to fold backwards. So this is the textured size because I'm using American Crafts textured cardstock. I'm just going to slide this in. One of the holes here. Oops. We're going to add glue to the back of this tab and then fold it back. So that's how it goes like that. So it's just going to fold back like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side so it folds up like that. And then we'll just slide it in and fold it back. So we'll do that for both both of them. So you're going to have two of them. One here and one here. They're the same size. I'll just go ahead and glue this in there. So it's, what's it's nice about this is that it'll... Um, I'm just kind of pushing it through to make sure. It's going to hold it in place in the box so it doesn't move around. So if you want to use it without it, it will it will move around a bit. So it's meant to have this in place. I've seen other pen boxes and um, if you just do a simple one then that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and glue this. See how it's folded? We're, fold it right there. And we're just going to fold this over to hide all those tabs. But this is nice because, um, I mean, I could have made a really small box and make it just fit, um, you know, as close as possible. And there are boxes like that out there. But this one, it was just so it will just keep it in place. So that's really functional to be putting in the box. And I'll show you with one of the boxes I already made. So, lost one of my boxes here. So here's also a print to cut one. So I'll have some videos that I'll reference below on how do you customize them a little bit for Silhouette and Cricut. And you can see there's a pen in there. So when I pull it out, it doesn't come out with the insert, but what it is is that the pen can sit like that. And then let's just take this one, open it up, going to slide it in and you want this to go beyond that so it might get stuck on this bottom part right here but I'll show you how it goes together in a minute and then it just closes like that so it's in there so that's what I had a different so for after we have that done let's go ahead and make the box so we want to fold it over carefully fold it on the score lines So 
So I find when it comes to smaller items like this, where you don't, you have a smaller cut line, that it's best to kind of kind of hold it as you fold it over. And it depends whether if if it's easier for you to, as some people use the Cricut um, score tools. Um, if you do, it's going to be a little bit harder to fold, and I demonstrate that in another video because it just doesn't get a deep enough score. So there we have this, this tab right here. The only thing we need to do is glue that. So when you glue it, you want to make sure that you get as close to possible, without getting a whole lot of glue, um, to these little edges. And you can fold it flat and fold it over. And just make sure it's lined up. And then you can just apply pressure. So what's nice is that you can make a bunch of these and don't put them together yet, just kind of do this and then go on to the next one and they'll be good and dry by the time you want to pop them open and use them. So you can go ahead and just the bottom, that's the bottom, and then there's the top. So when I showed you the other one, so I'm going to show you with this, this is, let me give you the big, in, the good insert. Just one more time. Since this is a larger window, you can kind of place the pen in there. And I know I don't have a glitter pen, but because I don't have one currently, but I will be having one. But you want to make sure this insert end goes all the way down. So sometimes it gets stuck on that little uh, tab there, so you can just kind of gently guide it in there. And then it shows basically the whole pen. So um, since I made this for glitter pens, you can see glitter pen. But you can see the insert kind of holds in place, upside down, doesn't come out, that kind of thing. So we'll move on now to the, the double version. So as with the single version, we have to do this insert first. So it's going to be the same process. Probably want to pre-fold this. I originally had it two separate pieces, but it's just easier to keep together this way and fold over. But you just want to fold them like this and fold it back like that. Same thing here. So these are attached. And I'm only pre-folding them, so they'll go straight through the holes, but you give it two at once through. Oops, and watch it fall through. That will happen to you. It's going to hold it in place. You can just do one at a time. I'm just going to add glue to both of them. You don't need a whole lot. In fact, that's too much glue. So those glitter uh, pens are fun. I just haven't had time to make one yet. I actually have a really nice sister that's going to make a few for me, and I'm sure you will see. And you could add glue first, but be careful putting in the holes. This does tend to be exact with the, uh, just try to match up the inside folds. So in this idea from these inserts wasn't my idea. I had a, a customer come to me. Her name is Lori. She asked me to make one of these, which I've had a couple requests actually, to make some pen boxes. And she kind of thought of this idea and I just uh, kind of took what her idea was and made it this. So it was slightly different. But it was a great idea. Keeps it in place, especially with the double one because the double one um, the pens can shift and so yeah, I had to get it as close as possible so when I slide it in that it can be seen through the cut holes. The whole point is to display the the beautiful personalized pens whether you do the whole or half. I'm just folding that over, same thing. 
If you need something small, you can um, use something like a, I use chopsticks a lot. Let me get my wooden chopstick. I had to get a new one since I actually switched them out. So you can get these on the side really well. But right here. So that's ready. So the two pens will sit like that. These are one of my favorite writing pens, so but they're I don't think anybody's actually using them for glitter pens. Most people use these are sized for the paper mate ink joys. So these are uniball gels, which um, are my pretty much my favorite writing pen right now. So I get them in bulk because <laughs> I lose them everywhere. So they'll sit in there. And let's go get the box made and then I can show you how it like. Actually, let's use this, this other box here. And then we'll put it in the final box. So this is the half window one. And I have that space if you want to put some images or print and cut. So it kind of slides in there and you want to go beyond that. And you keep, see that you can see both pens like that. So let's go ahead and finish this one. So fold carefully. Again, if you're using a Cricut, uh, you might want to use the dashed line version of our files so you can cut the score lines. It'll make it way easier to fold, especially this size. And if you want to see a comparison, you can watch the other video. It'll link below and how to customize these boxes to print and cut to personalize them. And I'll have an example of the differences. So why it's scoring with uh, dash cut lines are sometimes better with boxes rather than scoring. But some people know how to actually manipulate the scoring to make it a little bit um, uh, deeper. I do have a video on that too, but sometimes it's not deep enough for me. So we're just going to go ahead and add the glue to this tab and make sure you go to the edge again. It's really these pieces that will pull apart at the very end, so you want to get at least a little glue at those ends. And what glue is good anyways because I'm just folding it over because it really holds for a long holds well once it's dry. So just getting it lined up. It should line up automatically flat, but that's the beauty of these just square boxes and rectangular boxes. Nothing really fancy to them. The biggest thing for me here was just to get it to line up so I could see it would work with the pens well. So this will work with other pens, but it is it pretty much you can look at the size. I think it's 5.8 inches long here, and it truly is made for what most people are using for to make their customized glitter pens. If you haven't seen that, you can look it up. People epoxy glitter them and all fun stuff. So now we can just fold those in. And of course, the fit, the one with the little finger slot is the top. Let's go ahead and move these to the new box. So just place your pens in there. It'll in the pens if you get them too far down the, the end here. Let's get it in. You can cut push them in because of those. You can push them down further if you need to. I just wanted to make sure that that uh, insert is not up in this little groove because you don't want it in that groove. And then you go ahead and close it. And voila! You have a pen box ready for your pretty customized pens. So we have those. So those are our pen boxes. Let me show you all the different. So when you get a double, you get this one, these three different versions. So this, the reason solid, they're both like this, but the reason the solid is because um, some people might want to do like their own customized cutout on the front, like do like hearts or a big oval. If you want to do like big opening and then you could just cut another rectangle for a window, that's up to you. That's how I started doing it, but I decided this was better. So that's that. We'll put that to the side here. And then we have the same versions, but for single pens, like that. And here's some that I customized with Print2Cut. 
print and cut using Silhouette and um, Cricut. These were, so you can see those. I have a little logo on there. And here's another one as well. So there's some possibilities to this. And we do have um, two other videos that are noted below in the notes. If you want to find out how you can, I have put a little quick tutorial together for Cricut and Silhouette on how to uh, customize them a little bit more. So that's it. If you like this video, give me a little thumbs up and or subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.